You know how there's some people where when you walk into a room, you're just kind of drawn to them, maybe even before they say anything? Well, that is the power of a magnetic aura. But the thing is, is that everyone is capable of this magnetic energy. It's not just reserved for special people. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to become truly magnetic and have that captivating aura so you can start attracting the attention you want. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jills and I help women step into their power, tap into their divine feminine and become their best self. So if that's something you wanna do, you should subscribe and stick around. In today's world, attention is a powerful currency. Whether it's five seconds to capture a viewer's attention on social media or that first time meeting a new guy or those quick fleeting moments at a networking event, our ability to command attention matters. Learning how to have a magnetic aura can help stack the deck in your favor and make life easier and also make your energy more irresistible. So what is an aura anyway? An aura is basically a field of energy that exists around you and can kind of introduce you before you speak. And it can either draw people in, attract people into you, or repel them away. I know that some people are really big into energy and vibration and all that, and some people aren't, but you can't really deny that people can feel energy. People can feel a certain vibe, so to say, from a certain person, whether they consciously realize it or not. A lot of times the way we feel an aura comes through in a subconscious way. So for example, maybe you just meet someone, but you feel really comfortable and content in their presence. You feel like you could tell them anything, but we don't even really know why. Or we're repelled by someone right away with no logical reason to think that, but you find out a month later, there's clear evidence that he is just like a really sucky person. That is our subconscious mind or our intuition picking up on energy. And energy is powerful. So to create that magnetic energy, first thing, you need to understand that an aura is a projection of our own inner state. And a happy, well-lived life will always create the most magnetic and enticing aura. Your energy is always an extension of what's going on on the inside, physically, mentally, spiritually, all of it. So when your inner world starts having a higher vibration, or even when you start just like taking care of yourself and become healthier, more clean on the inside, you will notice that your energy will start to become more magnetic. Sometimes people, when they want to become magnetic and attract attract attention and get people to like them, they do this through manipulation, like just manipulating people to see them in a certain way. But the thing with life is that you attract what you are and what you put out into the world. So if you try to manipulate people to get them to notice you or to get attention or to get what you want, all you're doing is attracting other low vibe people or situations into your life because you're vibrating at the same level. And then also like there's so much bad toxic dating advice on like TikTok and social media and all that. If you act in a toxic way to get someone to like you or play games and play with their head to be in the power position, all you're doing is attracting other toxic or wounded people. The key is that you don't want to attract all the attention. You want to attract the right attention. And I'm gonna talk about that in a sec because that's a super important point. But this magnetic aura is not something you can just completely slip on and off like a mask every five seconds because it kind of becomes either who you are or who you're not. So if our aura is a projection of our own inner state and we want to become more magnetic, that means we do the work, do the inner work, forgive people, heal past traumas and let them go, take care of ourselves, take care of our body, eat well, move our body, and especially doing things you're passionate about, doing things that make you excited to wake up in the morning, things that inspire you and excite you, living a life that also involves pleasure and fun. This is how you create a more high vibe inner state. And like I said, this will project out onto the world and people will feel it. You know how some people will give that compliment, like, oh, she's glowing. And it's not like she's actually changed, she doesn't look any different, but for some reason, people can feel a glow to her. They can see a glow to her. That's because her inner state has changed. Some Something in her life has changed somehow to level up her inner state and people can feel it. I have this longtime friend and since the moment I met her, she has always been magnetic. And even way back in the day, I would look at her and I would be like, how does she do that? And knowing what I know now, I know that it's because of her inner state. She's always taken really good care of herself and truly loves doing it. It's not just a chore to her. She always, 
always follows her passions and her desires, even when it goes against the grain. She was raised in a very loving, safe home, which makes her inner world more secure to begin with. She's positive, she's trusting, and all of this makes her energy so captivating. When I was younger, she was a big expander for me and she taught me a lot. Now, like I said, you don't want to attract all the attention. You want to attract the right attention. And the way that you do this is through authenticity. And that's why magnetism can look different from person to person. I'm going to say something very important. The goal of having a magnetic aura is not to get everyone to like you. And once you understand this and get comfortable with this in your body, it will change the game. There's this saying I've heard, liked by everyone, loved by no one. Wanting everyone to like you will make you the opposite of magnetic. Think about an actual magnet. It's actually polarizing. A magnet can attract some things very strongly, yes, but it will also repel other things. The only reason that magnet does attract some things so, so strongly is because it also repels. You command so much more presence with the right people, with the right opportunities, when you become the highest version of yourself. If a magnet just tried to attract everything, it might attract some stuff, yes, but not as strongly as a normal magnet would because the normal magnet is polarizing. That's what causes it to have that super magnetic strength. Think about Taylor Swift. She's obviously magnetic or else she wouldn't be as successful as she is. You know, she has this huge Swifty army. Does everyone like her? No, my husband thinks she's incredibly annoying, but there's also a whole bunch of people who would probably literally die for her. And then think about Angelina Jolie. She's also quite magnetic but in a very different way. She's mysterious and sensual. You know, it's more in the attitude. Both women are magnetic, but in their own ways. Think about it. People tend to be magnetic for a certain reason. So some people can be magnetic because they radiate warmth and love and trust and safety. And that was more my friend, the one I was talking about. She's very much like that. But then there are other people who can have a magnetic aura because they radiate power, authority, leadership. I'm rewatching Gossip Girl right now because I mean, it's the best. But even think about Serena and Blair. They both give off quite magnetic energy, main character energy, but they're also very different. And they both really lean into who they are. Serena is more of this like free spirited, hopeless, romantic, chill, goes with the flow kind of girl. And then Blair has more sass, more authority. She's very organized and on top of things. And they command more presence by leaning into that. In my opinion, I think Serena is more magnetic than Blair, especially in the beginning. But I think as the show progresses and they both kind of heal some of their inner wounds, they become more and more magnetic as they get older, especially to higher vibe people and situations. You will become the most magnetic when you embrace who you are, own it and lean into it and do it. Be that truest version of yourself from the highest vibration you can. Will that polarize some people? Sure. But will it also magnetize some people to you? Yes. So like if your true authentic self is more of a sensual nature, you can lean into that, not just by the way you are, but also by the way you even present yourself. Like if you wear more red or black or dresses that show off your curves. Think about Samantha from Sex and the City. She's a very exaggerated version of this. I mean, it's a TV show, right? But she really just owns who she is. And even though some people might not agree with her lifestyle choices, you can't deny that she does have quite magnetic energy. She's just so herself. And Serena Vanderwoodson from Gossip Girl, she's just so herself. Even Blair, she's just so herself. So also if your natural personality is super warm and happy and bubbly and feminine, wearing pink or even like a happy yellow color, that will amplify that. While yes, you will become slightly more polarizing when you truly lean into your authenticity, you will attract the right people and repel the rest and you will command more presence. You will be more likely to be remembered. Think about like a true high value woman, right? It's not uncommon that when a woman becomes very like high value and really raises her vibration and all of that, she actually receives less interest in men overall. Not because you're now less appealing or less beautiful or anything, but because you're now on different energy levels and it will start to repel the suitors who are energetically incompatible. They're not thinking like, oh, her aura is so different than mine. I'm not going to approach her. No, but there's just this feeling that he gets of it not being a match. And so he won't waste his time. One time I was scrolling through YouTube shorts and I got this video 
that was like this ASMR video of somebody eating. Like the ASMR was the eating noises and stuff and not my thing. But then I looked and that channel had 2 million subscribers. So clearly some people like it. For some reason that I don't understand, that content and that channel is magnetizing to some people and repelling to others. If you wanna become magnetic, your goal is not to become a social chameleon who changes who she is in different situations so that she can be liked by everyone. And guess what? People can often sense when you have inauthentic energy because it kind of makes people feel slightly uneasy to be around you. There's like this air of anxiety and you become less magnetic. It's ironic, but the more you try to be magnetic, usually the less magnetic you become because it kind of turns into this sort of desperate energy. I want to be liked by everyone energy. The trick is not to focus on the end result of becoming magnetic, but instead to focus on the little things that get you there. Think about creating the best energy for yourself and becoming more confident in who you are and living life from a place of authenticity and love because why wouldn't we want to do that anyways, right? And a more captivating aura will start to fall into place. Now, side note, like I said, this magnetic energy will help you to attract the right people and and repel the wrong ones, usually. You still have to use discernment sometimes and have boundaries. For example, with my videos, some people might click on them and be like, ooh, yeah, I love this girl. And other people might click on it and be like, eh, man, she's not for me, next. Which is totally fine. But then there's also the rare occurrence of someone being like, oh, she's not for me, but let's see what kind of super rude comment I can think of to try to bring her down and make her feel terrible about herself. Like it's rare, but there will be people like that in life and I call them leeches. Don't let them drag down your energy or or convince you to be less of who you are. Now, moving on, people will be much more likely to be magnetized to you when you make them feel good about themselves and when they feel good in your presence. This is just psychological fact. People like to talk about themselves. People like to feel special and people love to feel seen and heard and also valued. Very charismatic, magnetic people can make someone feel like they are the only person in the room. So how do you do this? Things like asking them real, thoughtful, genuine questions about themselves and actually listening, not just waiting for your turn to talk or you trying to come up with your response while they're talking, but just actually listening and being present with them. Or things like eye contact, Contact, being excited about their interests, being interested in their life, talking to them about their passions, remembering little things about them, even little things like using their name when you speak to them. Dale Carnegie, who wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is a good book I recommend, he says that something along the lines of, a person's name is to that person the sweetest, most important sound of any language. A person's name is special to them. It grabs their attention because we're programmed that way from childhood that our name is supposed to grab our attention. You don't need to overuse their name because that's kind of weird. But like, for example, when you first meet someone, using their name in a conversation once, maybe twice, can help the person know that you are listening, that you care, that you're present with them. If you have the power to make someone feel good about themselves when they're with you, to make them feel more seen, then they will likely be quite magnetized to you. And you might think like, oh, well, isn't that manipulative? Well, it depends. Do you actually care what the other person has to say? Or are you just trying to get them to like you? Do you actually want to ask them genuine, thoughtful questions because you really want to hear their answer? Or are you just getting them to like you? Don't just pretend to be interested in people to become more magnetic. That's not the answer. Instead, you have to start operating from an open heart and embodying the energy of love. Genuinely care about other people. Genuinely be present with other people. The more authentic your energy is, the more magnetic you'll be. And again, like when you're trying to be magnetic, oftentimes you're just totally focused on yourself and thinking like, oh, did I do that right? Oh, is does this person like me? But when you do that, you lose presence with other people and people can feel that. And it does not feel good to be on the other side of that. Now, another big key to having a magnetic aura is being able to validate yourself. You become more magnetic by being secure in yourself, not needing other people's approval and praises all the time to feel good about who you are. When you are secure in yourself and no longer needy, 
you become a magnet to who and what you're supposed to attract. Think about like manifestation and the law of attraction. They say that to manifest what you want, you have to stop needing it. And the minute that you stop needing it to happen right now, that's when those manifestations start to come into your life. It's like the girl who's been desperately trying to find her husband, but once she decides to take a break from dating and she decides that she's okay being single, she meets her soulmate. Needy energy, desperate energy, repels. And we become needy when we rely on other people to make us feel good. When we start listening to other people's opinions instead of our own. Again, like I said earlier, when you focus on just trying to be magnetic, you're usually doing it for a certain result. You're usually doing it to be validated in some way, essentially. The people who are not trying to be magnetic are usually the ones who are more magnetic because they're not striving for your approval. They're not hunting for your validation. There's this aura of security that they have within themselves. And you have to stop chasing. Stop chasing people, stop chasing men, especially. Stop chasing approval, stop chasing validation. When you are in your authentic magnetic energy, like I said, you will attract some people very strongly and you will repel others. You have to consider that if you have to chase someone to try to be in your life, then maybe they're not actually meant to be there. Once you stop desiring to be magnetic and once you stop desiring for everyone to like you so you can get that validation, that is when you will step into your most magnetic energy and your aura will be the strongest. You become more magnetic by detaching from the outcome. So you can start learning to validate yourself by trusting your own thoughts and opinions, trusting your intuition, not running to someone else with every single little tiny decision that you have to make to make sure that they agree with you too. And instead going with what you think, what feels right to you, not people pleasing, not chasing, giving yourself the validation that you're seeking, learning to become your own best friend, not getting triggered and have your world start crumbling when someone says the slightest negative thing about you. Learning how to validate yourself can take some time because when it comes down to it, it's actually a process of learning how to trust yourself. Now, lastly, don't forget that when it comes to your energy and your aura, it's something that you have to protect and cleanse regularly. Like for example, if you get a nice new shiny car, if you don't ever wash it, then eventually over time, it's not gonna be so nice anymore. I know that our energy is something much more mystical than a car and something that we can't really see, but our energy and our aura is constantly coming into contact with different people, different things throughout the day. And if you don't protect that and continue to keep it clean and strong, so to say, it can be affected. If you encounter in your day really low vibe people, or even if you're just watching like a really low vibe scary TV show, or you have a moment of fear or panic in your day for some reason, all of these things can affect our energy. If you're starting to feel off, or if you feel like things feel heavier for some reason and you don't know why, or you're feeling more tired all the time, or if you feel like you can't ever relax, those could potentially, potentially be a sign that you're energy needs purifying or protecting. You can do this through meditation, especially meditations that are for like balancing the chakras or my personal favorites, meditations where you sort of visualize your energy field and start cleaning up the impurities. And I know it sounds weird, but if you just sit with binaural beats for 10 or 15 minutes, and then you just try to visualize and imagine your aura and your energy field, and then you start kind of visualizing, pulling out the dirty spots, impurities, whatever. You start patching the holes in your energy. You start creating like a big bubble around your energy of protection. It can do wonders. Also water is very energetically purifying. So lots of baths or showers can be really helpful or even the ocean. If you live by an ocean, that can be a wonderful way to kind of purify your energy. Or also let's say that you're at work and a new client comes in for the first time and this guy just sucks. Like he just has terrible energy. Go to the bathroom after and just wash your hands, like wash it off of you. It's not like a nice warm bath, but it can feel restorative for your energy field and can sometimes kind of recalibrate you. I actually talk about this topic briefly in my video, nine self-care habits that completely upgraded my life. I hope that this video was helpful for you and gave you some valuable tips on how to become your most magnetic self. So I think that you should probably go check out this video here, but if not, that's okay. And I will see you next time in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.